Live from the Community College of Philadelphia, the Trio Up and Down program brings you the first annual Yubi Awards. And now presenting the Academic Excellence Awards, your 2020 Summer Teachers. Hello everybody, it's Miss D. Just really happy to be here. Really proud of us that we've reached the end of the program and the end of the summer, which is sad, but also still a good thing. We've done a wonderful job this summer. I've had the pleasure of teaching math yet again for the Upward Bound program here at the Community College of Philadelphia. This year has been different for all of us for all the reasons that we know, but I feel like there's been a lot of growth for all of us this year. I've done something different personally, which is instead of teaching the typical algebra, geometry, and SAT prep, this year we focus more on personal finance. Some of the personal finance topics that we talked about were credit, debit, um, budgeting, entrepreneurship, uh, lottery, and probability. We also talked about buying houses and what that would look like in terms of how much it costs in the Philadelphia area. We had a lot of good discussions, we had a lot of good times, but there were also some challenges just given this virtual environment. Virtual environments make it really difficult for me to reach out to you as a student, especially after you've shut off the computer. However, there were some of you that really rallied, even in light of this distance that we have to keep from one another. And those students who rallied, who really worked hard, who performed well, did every assignment, worked hard to connect, even when connecting wasn't easy, those students really rose to the top. I had three students who had that quality, and those students would be Hena Khan, Shujat Chima, and Laron Allen. All of you did a wonderful job, but these three students really did an excellent job. Maintaining a positive attitude, uh, continuing to be connected to each other, and to uh, us as teachers, TCs, and the administration, it's been really a positive and blessed experience having you all in class, all of you, but specifically you three, because you three were examples of what it means to work hard in spite of difficulties. I hope that your classmates can see that in you in terms of using you and that kind of a model as an example as to how to proceed in this next upcoming academic year. It's not gonna be easy, but it's also not impossible. I hope that for all of you this summer was a great opportunity for you to, if not learn new things in terms of academic work, learn how to navigate this virtual world that we'll be living in for a little while longer. I hope everybody has a wonderful and safe rest of the summer, and I really look forward to interacting with you over the fall, hopefully with math. I also have one more thing. There was one project that we left undone, and that was our, inter, as that was our independent study project. If anyone is interested in finishing that up, don't laugh. I really want to work with you on it. I feel like we had some really good connections in terms of our meetings, and I would love to finish um, bringing you to the next level in terms of learning a new topic or making sure that your foundation is secure. Please reach out to me in email or through Miss Amy. It will be a pleasure to work with you these last weeks of summer or even in the beginning of the fall semester. Listen, take care all of you, and it has been a pleasure. Thank you so much for letting me teach you. Take care. family and friends and congratulations to the students for completion of another course here at Upper Bound. My name is John Faris. I am the instructor for language arts and our focus this semester was persuasive writing, trying to find a voice in an ever-changing world and how to describe them in word form. Proud to say that all students showed tremendous effort but four in particular stood out and I'd like to recognize them for their effort at this time. Those students are Zora Pope, Diamond Manson, Shuja Shima, and Nancy Hernandez. Congratulations to all students for all of your effort and getting through another course. Remember to stay informed, stay focused, 
and the practice writing every day. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Tiffany Backus, and I taught the Upward Bound Beginning ASL course this summer. This course was designed for students with little to no previous knowledge of American Sign Language. It was a video-based course where students were required to create videos of themselves signing vocabulary words and phrases. They were taught to formulate short statements and questions to introduce themselves and family members, uh, to fingerspell and identify fingerspelled words of three to four letters at a moderate rate. School, food, animal, and clothes signs were also uh, studied over this summer. Uh, we looked into the history of ASL, its origins. Um, we. Uh, even embarked upon current and historical culture, uh, beliefs, values, attitudes, and perspectives of deaf people. I was asked to acknowledge about three students, but that was difficult um, as I uh, evaluated coursework completed, um, students who attended office hours, and class participation. Um, the first student that I would like to recognize went far and beyond um, what was asked of them. Um, she uh, completed all of the required and non-required assignments. So this student is Hina Khan. She completed 125% of her assignments. Congratulations, Hina. My next student exhibited perseverance, strength, um, and dedication throughout the program while enduring a trying time. Uh, she completed all the required assignments and non-required assignments. In addition to attending office hours, um, she was so responsible. Um, this student is Nancy Hernandez. She completed 116% of her assignments. Congratulations, Nancy. Laron Allen is also one of those dedicated students. He demonstrated consistency and timeliness throughout the whole program. Um, if he was not the first person to submit an assignment, he was the second person to submit assignments. Um, and he put together very well thought out um, videos of himself signing words and phrases. Um, he completed 108% of his assignments. Congratula congratulations, Laurent. My final student, um, he just pulled it out in the end. Uh, he showed himself to be a student with drive, not to halfway do the work, but to finish well. Um, he began to take advantage of office hours, and he was like a quiet thunder or explosion. Um, what was quiet showed great results in the end. Shijat Shima completed 116% of his assignments. Congratulations, Shijat. I would like to give a special thanks to all of the student participants. I hope you benefited from the ASL 2020 Upper Bound course this summer. Um, and I wish you all the best in your uh, upcoming classes. Um, have a great summer or great the rest of your summer.
I am Miss Nicole, and I had the privilege of teaching the Summer Science Upward Bound course. The nature of the course focused on completing lab reports, hands-on, and interactive experiments. The students had the opportunity to apply what they learned in class to the real world around them. During the beginning of the course, the students learned the properties of chemical reactions and experimented with labs such as elephant's toothpaste, glow-in-the-dark bouncy balls, creating the unpoppable bubble, and we even experimented using gummy bears to understand the difference between osmosis and diffusion. The final week of the course, students were able to lift and classify their own fingerprints while also attempting to solve a mystery case. The students also uploaded videos, selfies, and pictures of them completing experiments, trying to achieve the best results possible. The students were definitely very busy experimenting new techniques at their at-home laboratories, but I have to give recognition to my incredible TCs, Emily and Athena. They were extremely helpful and assisted not only the students, but continued to give me recommendations during the course. Thank you so much for your constant help and guidance, and I am very appreciative that I was able to collaborate with you both. Now it is time to highlight the three students that went above and beyond this summer. I would like to acknowledge Henna Khan, Laron Allen, and Nancy Hernandez. The three of you were consistent every week with completing your assignments. Not only did you complete them, but you also were engaged and did more of what was expected. The three of you definitely deserve to be noticed for your constant efforts during this course. So I would like to just say, I was so excited to get to teach this course this summer. And it was very challenging at times, I know, trying to perform the labs and experiments at home instead of being in an actual laboratory and classroom setting. But I do wanna just say that I think everybody tried their best and overall it was a success. So thank you again. And I had a great time teaching this course. Hi everybody, this is Miss Mary Self. I taught the cardio and strength class. Um, my class consisted of a mixture of cardio, strength, um, using resistance bands, and yoga and stretching at the end. I would like to recognize Henna, Aksa, and Sierra for their um, efforts and consistency and participation. You guys did amazing. Um, it was really great to see you all um, on screen and working out and also inviting your family um, and friends to do it with you, which was excellent. I just wanna say thank you to Upward Bound um, for giving me the opportunity to, do, to work with you guys. Um, and of course, thank you to all of you, all of your students who um, who participated in this summer program. Thank you for coming to my class and congratulations to all of you for doing an amazing job. Have a wonderful awards night, everybody. Thank you, bye. I want to say congratulations to the class of 2021 who officially began work on their college application process this summer in our senior seminar class. Uh, we began working on the personal statement as well as doing college research. Um, it's been a, an interesting summer. We have a lot of work ahead of us, but I feel really proud of you guys for getting it started. We'll be meeting again soon um, in the next couple weeks to continue the work. And I want to give a special shout out to um, one student who really um, was on top of his work the entire summer and who was a example to everyone um, about what dedication and having your own goals can do for your uh, ability to get things done. And this summer I'd like to give an Academic Excellence Award to um, Bubakar Ba, who just really uh, was on top of it all summer. I really enjoyed talking with you Bubakar and like seeing this new um, 
invigorated person who's ready to get into college. And um, I'm so proud of you and proud of all of the members of the class of 2021 for the work that you guys did this summer. And now a commercial from our sponsors. Uh, do you ever feel like you're struggling more than other kids and will benefit from tutoring but can't afford one? Yeah. Do you ever feel like it's hard to get enough one-on-one -on -one time attention from your teachers at school? Do you ever feel your full academic potential? If you ever do feel this way, we have great news for you. Outward Bound at CCP is a non-profit educational enrichment program. We provide tutoring, SAT prep, college chores, exciting field trips, cash stipends for learning, and so much more. Uh, due to COVID-19, in-person information sessions are canceled, but feel free to set up a virtual one with the wonderful administrators. Guys, enough feeling like you aren't enough because you be, we grow. Up next are your summer tutor counselors here to present the Team MVP Award. Hey, how's it going? I'm Amon. I am the English and Documentary Team TC. Uh, I sadly won't be able to attend the award ceremony due to some prior commitments, but I wanted to take a moment to express how grateful I am to have uh, been able to work with Team Swedish Fish this summer. Uh, it has really been cool to see students newer to me like Kayla Lucas and Laron uh, step up and take lead roles on a lot of our challenging projects this summer. Uh, I enjoyed hearing ideas and concepts for videos from uh, Mo, Sandra, Raima, and Mark. Um, what's even more amazing is that everyone from the beginning knew their strengths as far as shooting and editing videos go, because um, I had no prior knowledge or experience with it. Uh, Kayla and Lucas became storyboard leaders. Laron and Mo became uh, lead editors. Mark and Sandra uh, started making advertisements and just other things to help promote the videos that would come out every Thursday. Uh, Raima uh, openly communicated with the social media team to make sure they were always getting our completed videos and advertisements. Um, everyone had a job and responsibility uh, and they knew if they didn't, you know, commit that it would hurt the other team members. Um, I honestly have not seen many people work so well together. As far as my MVP goes, I think I have to give it to Laurent. Uh, there has been times where he's been editing two or three videos at once and he always gives it his all. Uh, I remember him expressing to me that he wanted to be a content creator uh, when he grows up. And I believe he's already doing that. <laughs> uh, and he's well on his way if uh, that's a career he like decides to pursue after he has finished high school. Um, so thank you again for all your help this summer, Laron. I also want to thank you again to Kayla, Sandra, Lucas, Mo, Raima, Mark, and Ali for such a experience this summer. And I hope you all have a successful school year. Thank you again. See you guys. Hello, Upper Down. This is Hafsa, your American Sign Language TC from this summer. Outside of class, I was the team leader of the activity board, AKA the dream team. My job was to mentor, supervise, and communicate with the team as they planned and held at least one event each week to engage students in fun activities. Two of our most notable events were game night where we played Uno and Pictionary, and the other was a dance party slash community night where we had a dance battle, shared snacks over Zoom, and played games. I would like to take this time to recognize the dream team for their team spirit and commitment this summer. To Rihanna, I would like to thank you for being a helping hand to the team. Simone, I would like to thank you for drawing our event flyers and allowing us to use your work to promote our events on Instagram. Sora, I want to thank you for always being to our meetings early and on time and for helping the team brainstorm different activities. Fatamata, I want to thank you for supporting our team during all of our events. Steven, I want to thank you for being our hype man and bring energy to our events. Azir, even though you were an independent internship student, 
I want to thank you for supporting our team. And last but certainly not least, I want to acknowledge Sanai for always volunteering to edit our team videos, supporting everyone on the team and always showing team spirit. That is why you are the MVP. Congratulations. It's your favorite TC, Sir Gerald. I assisted in the math classroom with Miss Dion. I was the best TC. I helped out the peak performers and they took on the role of being the student council for the summer program. The student council got feedback from the rest of the student body and actually made some difference in the summer program. One of the things that we received in feedback is that students wanted to spend more time with people outside of their teams. And the, the administrators, Ms. Amy, Mr. Joe, and Ms. Janet, took this feedback and they actually planned one together Thursdays where we played a series of games and you were split into teams or into groups that weren't your actual teams. They were just randomly split up for the most part. And that's just one of the things we got in feedback where we actually made a difference in the summer program. So peak performers, you should be very proud of this. I would now like to announce the MVP I have chosen for the peak performers. This individual was an incredibly important member of our team and I could always count on the student no matter what the situation was. I remember one morning where I was in desperate need of a student to make an announcement. So I reached out to this person and I gave them the, the option to back out if they really didn't want to do it and I would just go ahead and do it for them. But they refused and what they told me was, and I quote, Nah, I'm a peak performer, Uno. This person was of course Guadalupe. She definitely has made herself known throughout the program, being active in the Zoom chat with her UUs and attending all of the activities. Not only did she bring positivity to her team and the rest of the program, we could always count on her to do what we needed of her. She truly was a peak performer. Ooh. But everything that we did was very much a team effort, so now I wish to acknowledge all of the peak performers. Ramatula Chima, who took charge of being the one to create her polls as his teammates threw questions at him, as well as let the greatness of the peak performers be known to the rest of the program. Shuja Chima, who was always an active member in our meetings, contributing his ideas and always willing to volunteer to do whatever was needed. Joshua Green, who would consistently give fantastic contributions to the team meetings and did an amazing job hosting our student forum. Aksa Khan, who was our fearless leader, we looked to her for the approval of the final decisions and she worked hard to get his points to the team. Lamar Smith, who despite inconsistent internet connection, still made his presence known to the team, giving contributions through the Zoom text chat. And Darius Travis, who often took charge in generating ideas and was a supportive member for the rest of his team. It's been so fun and so great being with the best team of the summer program. Playing Would You Rather With You Guys was so much fun, and it's probably my favorite memory of the summer program. I am, um, I'm still right by the way, you guys are all wrong, but that's okay. I hope that you guys are proud of the work that you've done and the impact you've had on the program. And I hope that you see this as an opportunity to continue to grow and to continue to push yourself and continue to step outside of your comfort zone. And I want you guys to always remember that you are peak performers that keep on improving. Hi everyone, Emily here. I would like to first congratulate all of you guys for finishing the summer program. I know it wasn't an easy one, but we did it! Yay! This summer I had the honor of being one of your science TCs along with Athena. And also I was in charge of the yearbook team, Team VR. I love you guys. I would like to thank Maya. Destinea, Sierra, Nancy, Asaya, and Kali for all of the hard work and effort you guys put into creating our first Upper Bound Yearbook. Special thank you to Summer for helping out the team on top of her independent project. I would like to recognize Jackie as our MVP of the team because in any future career you need to leadership. You need to leadership. That makes a lot of sense. Just kidding. Thank you Jackie for stepping up and being a good role model for your younger teammates. Your ambition and energy is truly amazing and I want it As this officially marks the end of the 2020 Summer Upper Bound program, we are out. Bye! Hey Upper Bound, my name's Athena. I was the Upper Bound social media team TC for the summer, UBST for short. 
and we were mainly the social media team per se and I would say my role was mainly just to keep the team on track make sure we do everything they had to do which really I didn't have to do anything because you guys are pretty self-sufficient you knew what you had to do y'all just got to it once y'all agreed on everything I needed to do and I had a lot of fun with you guys I'm not gonna lie we did have some fun especially our last meeting you know with Jakai on the phone yelling at whoever she was yelling at but the reason I'm here via video is because I have one thing to say and that is our MVP of the team and honestly it's been so hard for me to think of one of one person because you all you've all done Mason Abubakar he made sure that everyone followed us stay following us and he kept our spirits high Diamond she let us know when people need to talk to us Crystal she did editing she did the morning post and Jakai, she had her news, but honestly, I'm gonna have to say that the MVP is gonna be. I hope whoever's editing this can like add in a drum roll or something. You know, the MVP is gonna be Henna. Because honestly, I was thinking about it this whole time, and I feel like with Henna's encouragement and her very determined for us to win, she's the reason why we won Team of the Week last week. She made everyone go to cardio strength to get the 100 points per person, and Honestly, Hannah, yeah, she, she did it. Like, she's the reason why we all, I would say, are always in good spirits. Like, Hannah always tries to keep us up. And she even offers some of the kids, excuse me, in our team, like, if you guys need help with science, you know, let me know and I'll help you or whatever. And I don't know, she just really did a good job. And I would like to say Hannah would be our MVP. Honestly, I do hope that you guys stick with the program even in the fall, because I know it's going to be a lot different. So... Bye guys. Presenting the Student Spotlight Awards, Ms. Janet, Mr. Joe, and Ms. Amy! The Busy Bee Awards are given to students who have had excellent attendance, completed a majority of their work, and were integral in their internship teams this summer. These students preserved in a challenging online setting while being shining examples of what upper bound students can achieve. The summer 2020 recipients of the Busy Bee Awards are Laurent Allen, Bubakar Ba, Shuja Chima, Lucas Gonzalez, Nancy Hernandez, Aksa Khan, Hina Khan, Sierra Millar, Crystal Miller, and Zora Pope. The Open Door Award is given to a student who is open to and genuinely enjoys the experiences Upward Bound has to offer. This student welcomes new experiences with enthusiasm and their presence significantly contributes to the overall positive atmosphere of Upward Bound. This award recognizes an appreciative spirit, curiosity, and openness to what life has to offer. This year's Open Door Award recipient is a new student who came to us with boundless energy and excitement for us and all of you, Wu. The Open Door Award goes to Guadalupe Delgado Leon. Congratulations, Lupe. The We Grow Award is given to a student who has shown significant growth during their time in the Upward Bound program. The recipient of this award has demonstrated an improved positive attitude, a willingness to do more work, and a collaborative spirit. This year's We Grow Award recipient has shown us through her yearbook work as well as her classwork that she desires to do more and will look for more opportunities to grow. The We Grow Award goes to Asaya Ball. Congratulations, Asaya! The Perseverance Award is given to a student who has made a personal commitment to Upward Bound. The recipient of this award has been a consistent and integral part of the program and works hard to accomplish their goals no matter what circumstances may be occurring in life. This award recognizes the recipient's inner strength, will to succeed, and commitment to their own education. This year's Perseverance Award recipient has, despite a personally difficult summer, showed up to the program every day ready to learn and share her experiences. The Perseverance Award goes to Nancy Hernandez. Really good job, Nancy. We're proud of you. 
The Rising Star Award is a special award given to a student who has completed their first summer and already exhibits outstanding potential to become a positive leader among their peers while excelling in the classroom. The Rising Star possesses and demonstrates the qualities and abilities necessary to succeed in Upward Bound and in their future college career. This year's Rising Star Award recipient has blown us away this summer with his dedication to the program, his shining spirit, the quality of his assignments, and his on-point TikTok videos. The Rising Star Award goes to Laron Allen. Congratulations, Laron. Thus concludes tonight's UB Awards. Please stay tuned for your closing summer announcement. And I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me.